Hello and welcome back to Frostpunk. Um, we left off with a group of people wanting to leave the settlement uh, and they're trying to convert all kinds of other people to join them. I need to figure out a way to combat this. Um, in between episodes, I've built a couple or more of these watchtowers because they're supposed to give uh, like hope to the people that live near them. They don't seem to. They didn't seem to be counteracting the discontent that was being gained very, very rapidly. So, uh, what I'm going to try and focus on in this episode is my scouts and hope that they can find something that will increase hope for my people. That is what I'm hoping to do, and I'm also hoping to find something in the Book of Laws that will do the same. So, let's get cracking. One thing that might help with the hope situation would be uh, medical. I have all these medical tents, but I still have 39 people who are sick. Uh, so I did start this um, upgrade for the medical facility last time, or in between last time and this time, and hopefully um, it will help with this problem. I'm going to try and build more medical posts and see what's going on here, see what we can do about that. Oh, it's paused while I'm trying to build. Medical post right there. And we will build a another care house over here. Um, and let's think. What can we do about discontent? I don't know. I don't think I can build anything that does away with discontent. Um, I don't know what to do to reduce the discontent here. Guess I'm going to have to wait until I can just pass another law or something. I am not sure. We'll put these engineers in there. I'm hoping that these medical posts will help. Um, can we get... Uh, I want to get this because I've noticed up here I have a temperature is going to drop significantly, two levels, um, for a while. I don't know how long yet. We haven't seen the end of it. Um, so I think I'm going to need this research right here. And unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to power and keep everyone from dying. <laughs> so I, I think the Londoners may be screwed as well. We, we may all die when that gets here. When it gets cold. We may all die. We will see. No, oh, here we go. What is this? The Londoners prey on discontent. A few are persuaded. A member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd. He's trying to scare as many as possible into joining the exodus to London. But his visions of doom ring false in the ears of people who are content with the situation in our city. They will gain people, and I can't do anything about the rest of this. Alright, let him speak. I need to get a guard station, I think. Okay, we can pass a new law. Here we go. We're gonna go straight into purpose. We can go with the morning gathering, uh, which will slightly raise hope from time to time. Or we can get a guard station. Discontent will rise slightly, but I can raise the hope of people living nearby and lower the discontent of people living nearby and break up protests. I think I need this, because that speaker changed six people over, and I didn't even, I couldn't do anything about it. So I'm going to build some of these. Uh, i got to figure out where to build some of these. I think right here for one. And the other one, I kind of want right there. <laughs> but I can't put it there, so we'll put it there. There we go. 
get those two built. Build a little bit of some walkway over to this one. There we go. Now we just gotta wait. Just gotta wait for those to get built. Hope rises. We uh, finished building our guard towers here. Um, and we've got a lot of people in their area of effect, so that should help. Um, I gotta think of a way to deal with the discontentment, though. There's a lot of that. Uh-oh. Um, send the watchman to remove it. Hope will fall. Hope will fall. Hope will fall slightly or it will fall. We'll s just go slightly. I'll just go with slightly. Oh, they have reached the sturdy shelter. Alright. Uh, explore. Shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A sign post by the trail points in two directions. London uh, and home, which is only 27 miles away. Sites discovered with steel bridge. Take the resources. And head towards the bridge. Uh, how do I... There we go. They're on their way. They're so far out, the scouts, that I don't want to just bring them back. Um, they might as well go to the bridge and see what they can find there. And then maybe they can just come back with a huge hall and a bunch of people. That would be nice. That would be real nice. No, oh, the Londoners gained more followers. They're up to 38 now. Man, they're even doing it while everybody's asleep. If they convert you in your sleep, man, they're nuts. They're nuts, I tell ya. Oh boy, what's happening now? A group of amputees is here to see you. They want to help in the cookhouse. We don't want to sit on our arses all day, content with just being kept alive. We can't do hard work anymore, but if we fashion some simple prosthesis out of wood, we can help in the cookhouse and earn our keep. Well, okay, um, yeah. 100 wood and cookhouse efficiency will rise. Yeah, give them that. Give them that. For sure. Could have used a little bit of some hope from that. That would have been nice. You know? You know? I know. Oh, this. Generator power upgrade is complete. Uh, that'll be nice for when it gets real cold. And that cold is going to last about... Oh, I don't know. What is that? One. That's about two days. Oh, why did hope just drop all of a sudden? What the hell? There's no reason. No reason right there. Alright, let's go here. Explore the bridge. Stopped at the bridge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Oh, um, it's a robot. Send it to the city. I don't report it. Send it on its way. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay. Oh, wait. No, we gotta send them to, um, large convoy. We can see people. Hey, that's where we're going. We want some people. We want to get some people who can come help try and counteract this bullshit from these people. Finding the bridge to winter home proved that but raised questions. Why is the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? Uh, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out in winter home. Hope falls again? Come on. You're killing me, game. Discontent is just steadily climbing. Just non-stop climbing. It doesn't drop at all. Oh boy. Uh, more hope loss. Yay. Oh. I think I'm gonna lose, guys. Oh boy. Hope will rise. Discontentment will fall. 
Um, I think I'm gonna go with Hope Will Rise. I need it. <laughs> I need the hope to rise. Because my hope is almost gone. Londoners gain more followers. Yay. Okay, we can get another law. Let's get the patrol. And let's try that puppy out. Uh, how do I do it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Sir, a child came to the guard station and gave the guardsman a stuffed toy dog, telling him that they should take it with them when they walk the streets at night. It seems people appreciate those who work hard to protect the law and order in our city. Okay. That's nice. Uh, go patrol and hope that it'll be enough. Uh, oh, they have arrived at their destination. Okay, this... Let's go explore this. The workers who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterholm. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. Um, we will escort them to our city. Um, I think I'm just going to send them to the city and leave the scouts out here, because I want the scouts to keep going. They're way far out. And I don't want to have to wait, like, the three days it's going to take for them to get out here again. So I think it's better to just tell those people where we are and let them come on their own. Um, really cold is about to set in tonight. And that's going to kill us. It's going to kill me, probably. Uh, let's see. Can we get this? We can. I'm just going to get it. Because <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what's on that tier, but I'm just gonna get it and hope that it will increase the hope. It would be really nice. Oh, here we go again. A member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd. He's trying to scare as many as possible into joining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let him speak. Uh, the number of Londoners will rise, or discontent will rise, and people may get hurt. I think I'm okay with just getting two Londoners and not increasing discontent. The more discontent there is, the more likely people are going to be to join. So, I think it's safer to go that route. The number of sick just keeps rising. I don't think it's possible to ever keep up with that number. With these tiny little fucking medical posts. These things... They can't hold very many. They can only hold five. Like, you would have to build, like, 40 of these things to be ahead of the sick. It's ridiculous. Oh, here we go again. Um, sir, people are no longer concerned by the Londoner's slogan. Some have started to bring hot soup to the guards patrolling the streets. We just couldn't bear watching them walking the streets in this cold. The slogans, the deranged scrawl of cowards, nothing more. I'm glad to hear that. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Oh boy, I thought I was screwed. But it's about to get really cold. And we're gonna have to burn a ton of coal for this. Oh no, we're low on coal too. Oh, we only have a day of coal? Shh. Alright, everybody's coming out of these places. And you are gonna go and you are gonna work over in the coal. We need the coal. Badly. Um, I think we're dead. I think we're dead in the water once this hits. Once this happens. We'll see how cold it gets. Oh boy. Negative 60. These are very cold. These are cold. These are chilly. Oh boy. Um, so we have to turn this on. And then most of our city is just still very cold. <laughs> I think we're screwed. I think we're dead in the water here. This coal is going to burn up in 22 hours. Oh, our guys made it uh, to the weather station. Explore. 
Uh, we found scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that the observations ended abruptly months ago. There's also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they've moved out for good. We can see the city of winter home from the roof of the weather station. Take resources. Okay, we got coal. Um, how much stuff do you guys have? You have 88 coal? It is 88... Coal mine. I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna go to the coal mine and hope that they can find a big chunk of coal to bring back and get back in time before we all freeze to death. Um, the recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. We'll have answers soon enough. Hope falls again. And then what is this? An indignant woman. Sir, our guards have reported this woman for attacking them on patrol. She was cursing them and hitting them with her fists when they brought her in. I would have come by myself, the woman says. These swine have been pestering me day in, day out, and I'm sick of it. They say they need to check in, if, check if everything's in order, but it's just an excuse for them to make advances. Um, uh, we will just reprimand. We don't want to reduce the effectiveness of the patrol. Because it might be the only thing that saves me. Uh, it very well might. People are going to get discontent real quick. Real quick. I really need to get back to where this is going to heat up. Because look at this, all of our med is shut down. 63 are sick, 20 are gravely ill. A lot of people are about to die, is what's about to happen. Because, and a lot more actually, because we're about to run out of coal. Oh, what is this? The robot has arrived. He's awful quiet though. Uh, I figured out why the robot was so quiet. I had disabled the sound effects. Okay, our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and capability. I see. Okay, so he can come work my, uh, my coal mine here. Because I was just thinking about how am I going to man this coal mine. I barely have enough people to go around as it is. Um, I did pull everybody off of the sawmill, though, so they could run the coal mine, but I don't think they're going to have to. What is this? Uh, the dangers of the cold. One of our people has had to undergo an amputation. Working in the freezing cold left him with such severe frostbite that there was no other choice. I see. There's going to be a lot more of that. Base efficiency is 60%. The lone Indian. He's idle. We could dismantle him for 100 steel, 100 wood, 50 coal, and 1 steam core. I don't think that's worth right now. Um, we can fill this place up again. Get it working again. Although, I think what we need to do is pull everyone out of here. Because they're going to start getting really cold really fast in there. And we don't want that. Uh, nobody's going to be working here. Probably shouldn't have anybody working here, but we have to work here. Or we die. Everyone dies. Automatons. Yes. Automaton, go. Begin. Working on the coal mine. Curious as to how he does that. How do you fit in there? Mr. Automaton. Look at him. Drafting machines researched. Uh, tier 2 technologies are available. Let's take a look. Uh, Steam hub range upgrade. Um, generator will burn 10% less coal. All we need is some steel for that. I think that's definitely a must get. Uh, we can get outpost depot. Uh, the factory, Ooh, we can we can start getting prosthetics. Yeah, we just need steel. Um, I think we need to get the um, 
The generator efficiency. We just need steel. So we have a lot of idle people just sitting around staying as warm as they can. And I think that's fine. Because, I mean, we're about to lose a lot of people. Hope is about to get murdered if all these people die because these med beds can't work. If we overdrive this, does it... Okay, the meds are working right now for a little bit. Oh, look at the discontent. It just fell so far. But we're going to burn coal extra fast. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, this is scary. I really need you to start working on this building here, Mr. Automaton. That would be great. If you could pump out some coal for me. Oh, look at him. He's mounting the building. Oh, he just became a piece of the building. Okay, it's just going to make a pile there. And I'll have to go scoop it up or something. Uh-oh. Uh, people are dying in the streets. Um, an infirmary? I don't... I don't know how to get an infirmary. All I can do is disperse the crowd. I don't know how to get that. Uh, let me check the research. Check the research. Check the research. Um, food and health. Oh, infirmary. Right here. Uh, I don't have enough steel. <laughs> I think I'm screwed, dudes. The whole screen is, like, red. I think I'm screwed. So far nobody's died, though, and we're getting the gravely ill people treated, and once they are treated, I can turn off the, um, the thing. Uh, morning gathering. This is the slight hope upgrade. I think I'm gonna get it. Just, just get it, you know? Just a slight bit of hope. This might be what we need. Uh, can we patrol? Uh, we could patrol. It costs 10 food. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, wow, look at that. We just killed discontent. We just murdered it. We moited it. Scouts have reached the coal mine. Here we go. Scouts have reached the coal mine. Explore the coal mine. This coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. Um, what? If we took the machinery apart. We won't be able to restart the mine. Um, or... And we will be able to restart the mine later. I think that's much more valuable to be able to restart it later. Plus, those resources aren't going to get here in time for me to survive this temperature change. As soon as this last gravely sick person is cured, I'm turning off the overdrive. <sighs> I don't know if we're gonna make it, dudes. I don't know how much longer we're, <laughs> we're gonna last. I want them to come home. They have a whole bunch of stuff. I'm ready for them to come home. Yeah, they have 355 coal, 99 food, 193 wood, and two of those cores, so. I think, I think it's time for them to come back. Okay, uh, someone has stolen 57 food rations from the stockpiles. People are saying it was the Londoners gathering supplies for their journey. It seems this ridiculous idea of Leaving for London is gaining traction. Send the guards to catch them. Uh, yep. I'm not gonna let discontent go up. No, no. No, sir. A lot of people are, uh, getting gravely ill right here. I'm worried. The guards that did succeed, though. That's nice. We might make it. We have 19 hours of coal on overdrive. I think we're gonna make it. I think we are gonna make it. Which is really nice. The next thing we are going to get is an infirmary. Uh, that's definitely the next thing, plus healthcare insulation. Those are two things that we are gonna be in big need of. I think I need to, like, I wish there was an easier way to relay out the city. Um, Cause I would like to move some of this stuff, it's just... I mean, I guess I could move these dudes over into that one. And then I can deconstruct this. 
Because I need another food shack. One owner's just gained more followers. Damn it! I mean, I'm, I'm trying my best to keep you guys alive right now. I really am. And, and all you guys are doing is shitting on me. Damn it. Ingrates. <laughs> I could have you out here working in this freezing ass building. No, I'm only... The only building that is operating right now is this, because it's necessary for our survival. And this, because it's in the, the warm zone. And these medical places, you know, and then the guard towers, because we have to. But these are fairly warm out here as well. Like, they're only... Yeah, they're they're nice. They're livable out there. Um, anyway, we have 18 hours of coal. 24 gravely ill people. Oh, man. I don't know if I have enough to treat that many. Okay, we've got all of the med places full. Um, just gonna have to hope it's enough. These guys are gonna arrive in 16 hours. We have 19 hours of coal, so they will get here before we run out of coal. The problem is... We can't run the overdrive that long. That sucks. That sucks. We'll run it as long as we can, and then we'll activate steam level 2. Actually, we're on steam level 2, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Um, steam level 1? No, steam, stay on steam level 2 then. Keep all this stuff at least, you know, chilly. Can we turn off overdrive? Um No. Oh boy, people are getting people are getting dead real fast. Thir we just jumped up to 36 as soon as I turned off the overdrive. <laughs> oh boy. We're going to have a lot of amputees after this, after this cold blizzard here. Oh my god, and look what's coming. It's going to drop 3 levels. Everyone dies when that gets here. I can't I can't survive that. I barely survived two levels. I can't survive three. An angry rant. Her guards reported that a man is giving an impassioned speech to a small crowd, accusing you of scheming to enslave us all. Her captain is trying to keep you content, ignorant, and under control. Remember the new poor law? The workhouses? That's how we live now. We're supposed to work and be quiet, but it's not too late. Um... I say let him let him speak. I mean, that's what I would say. All right, I just took the fighting arena. It's supposed to help with discontent. Uh, we are gonna build one. Is this a warm area? This is warm. There we go, right there. Fighting arena. Generator stress level is critical. I'm gonna run it as long as I can. As soon as this gets up to 99%, that's when we'll turn it off. 98. Here we go, we're getting close. Let's go to 99 and count to three. One, two, three, turned off. And now, everyone's gonna die. The fighting arena's built though. <laughs> Oh no, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die. The Londoners prey on discontent. A crowd is listening to one of the Londoners who's scaring people with visions of doom. He's trying to persuade them to flee to London. The discontented seem to take his words to heart, but others remain unconvinced. Uh, let him speak. Um, uh, no. Um... I think I'm just going to have to accept a little discontent, because I don't know if they can gain too many more followers before I lose. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying... I am... The only thing that I really want to do is 
get them to survive these goddamn blizzards. But here they are, all concerned with this petty nonsense from the Londoners, you know? It's like, Londoners, please stop. Do you, do you not see the weather forecast? We die in, in like three days, so... You know, let's get on the same page here, guys. Oh, I just gained some hope for no reason. We have 37 who are gravely ill, 13 who are homeless in this cold? Oh no. But we don't have enough stuff to house them. We're gonna have to send some people to work. I'm sorry dudes, but we're gonna need it if we're gonna get the research we need to survive that next storm. Um, it's just the way it is. Unfortunately, a lot of people are probably going to get hurt. Oh, and the survivors get here. I see. We have 13 homeless people now in this cold, in negative 60 degree temperatures. Oh, no. And then our scouts are about to arrive with a bunch of coal, a bunch of food, and a bunch of wood. So, we'll see what we can do. I wanted to build another house over here. I don't think I could if I got rid of those paths. I think we're gonna have to deconstruct this and let the, the weak die out so the strong can survive. I don't know if it'll work that way, but that's what we're gonna do. This content is way up because people are freezing to death. At least people are hopeful while they freeze to death, though. Oh. Let's see. A Londoner steal supplies. Another theft. The Londoners are stealing again. They've taken 98 food rations. People are angry that the Londoners are putting their crazy idea before the needs of the city. Uh, send the guards to catch them. This is all we can do. Alright, we're going to turn the overdrive on again. It's at 50, it's at, uh, what, 81% right now. So we should have time to run it until this is done. Uh, caught in the act. Our guards did a good job. They got the goods back, but more importantly, they caught one of the thieves. Now we can put an end to the thievery. What should we do with the thief? Uh, let him go, but we'll prepare a place for him soon. Banish him. Um, our people will decide his fate. Discontent will rise if we do that. That's what I would personally do. I don't know. I guess I'll just banish him. Goodbye, thief. I don't think it's worth banishing him, and it's a death sentence. All I did was steal some food. It's a death sentence. No. But, I mean, I have to. Two people have died. Oh. Abby and Helen. Helene have died. Hopefully we can overdrive long enough to survive. Once this cold is over with we can turn off the overdrive. There we go, it's starting to, to, to relax some. Discontent's going down pretty fast. A lot of, a lot of cheering going on. Oh man, I can't believe it. So far, we're surviving, we're managing, we're maintaining, a barely, just barely, hardly. Um, as soon as this is done, we are going to research the infirmaries. Um, they can hold more people, and I'm pretty sure they're warmer, so that'll be really nice to be able to have those. Um, this dude was a lifesaver. Being able to operate this coal mine without without all that craziness. Somebody died. Um, died from lack of treatment. Yeah. I'm sorry. Alright. One crisis to the next. Three level drop incoming. Uh, infirmaries. We're supposed to be getting a research. We don't have the steel yet. We need more steel. More steel required. 
Oh, what is this? Abuse of power. An unpleasant accident has happened. One of our guards was insulted by a prisoner, so he hit the offender with his baton, knocking the man out. People are angry and demand that you punish the guard. Discontent will fall. Discontent will fall slightly. I'm just going to punish him. I don't want to keep killing people. Certain people have gathered to protest against the cold in their homes. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't... Just, I'm preparing for something worse here, people. Something worse is coming. Like, your, your homes are mostly chilly. I think that's okay. You'll survive. It's what's coming that is going to cause problems. And we need to be ready for it. Okay, what do we have here? Another theft. Send guards to catch them, yes. They're gonna run us out of food like that. Murdered on duty. One of the guardsmen was beaten to death whilst chasing the Londoners. We caught one of the thieves, but he's not the murderer. What should we do with him? Let him go, he isn't the murderer. A lot of banishing going on, I'm not... Ugh. Stop with all the banishing. Londoners gain more followers. Of course they do. Fuck this place. <laughs> Fuck this place. <laughs> we'll do another patrol. And hope rises and discontent falls. Look at that. Hope is higher than discontent now. We have beaten the Londoners until un until the until then and and then they win again. <laughs> oh no. Scouts have reached the crash site. All right. Let us explore the crash site. There is plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass as if these people were trying to find it. At least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Take their resources and come on back. Well, that sucks. They probably froze in that last storm, like we almost did. Probably. Oh, here we go. Everything happens at night time, man. The Londoners steal again. Uh, sir, the thief you ordered to be released has been beaten up. People decided to take justice into their own hands. Probably, probably because they feel that when you dispersed their protest, you treated them worse than the thief we caught. They'll make sure he doesn't steal again. Okay, whatever. I mean, if it was me and this was my town, I'd just chop off his hand. We'll go to the old school rules. You steal, you lose a hand. I mean, you can still pull levers in the factory with a hook hand. A little harder to steal, though, with that. And here we go again. The Londoners. First, Londoners are convinced to stay. Oh, several of the people who wanted to flee to London have decided to trust you and stay. They say that your recent decisions convinced them. There is hope for us here yet. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, that's nice. Will you guys stop stealing my food now? <laughs> That would be great. There we go, the infirmary is done. Infirmary. Wait, is this the infirmary? No, this is not the infirmary. Infirmary. Oh, it's way big. Oh, it's so big. Goodness, it's big. Oh, it's a big old building. Okay, we could tear down these. Uh, we would have to build a what is it resource depot right out here we'll build two of those we'll build the path and then we can get rid of um these two resource depots here and um build our infirmary there Uh, a child's plea. We found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up to attend it. He's got to face his loss. Hope will fall a little bit. 
It's unfortunate. It just feels bad. We're going on patrol. And that'll increase the hope and get rid of the discontent. Look at that. We're starting to get rid of it. Starting to go away, but it's going to be real bad here real soon. Uh, anyway, I am going to finish building this infirmary. And then I am going to save the game and stop right before the big freeze. And that's where we'll pick up in the next episode. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We're not out of the deep water yet, but we're getting there. And I will see you in the next video.